I am a strong believer in the power of focus and the idea that companies should define their domains and markets more narrowly and really go deep instead of being broad. So in that context, an interesting question that arises is, uh, is there a future for conglomerates? A conglomerate is a firm that operates in a variety of industries and markets. So we are seeing progressively more and more conglomerates are splitting apart whether it's ITT or whether it's, you know, many, many of the other conglomerates, Motorola, and even more, the Motorola wasn't a conglomerate, but they're splitting their businesses apart. Sarah Lee, Tyco, many of these companies have actually split into more focused companies. But yet at the same time, you find that there are conglomerates like the Tata Group in India uh, or, you know, the Virgin Group uh, in, in, in the United Kingdom and so on that still exist. So is there a logic for conglomerates? I believe that there is a future for conglomerates, but conglomerates then need to be focused along a particular lens or a particular dimension. For example, in the Tata group in India, who I had actually worked with many years ago, the logic for the conglomerate used to be the fact that capital markets in India were inefficient, talent markets were inefficient, bureaucracy and corruption were rampant. So you actually needed to create an internal market to create an ecosystem within the company that allowed for these inefficiencies to be overcome. So it made sense to have a conglomerate uh, because they could have a common talent management system, a common capital market system, and so on. But as the market becomes more efficient, as it becomes more developed, even conglomerates like Tata are becoming more focused on the things that they do. Another example of a conglomerate is the Reliance Group in India, which is now two different companies. But even there, if you look carefully at Reliance, and I remember a conversation I had with the Ambani brothers uh, almost 12 years ago, they said, we may seem to be in many different businesses, retail, telecommunications, and petrochemicals, but there are only two things we know how to do well, manage Raj projects and deal with infrastructure. So if you think about what unites these, these different businesses they are in, they're all infrastructure businesses and they're require lots of capital investment um, and project management, complex project management. So a conglomerate still has a logic, still has a reason to exist, but it needs to have a very clear unifying logic or a focused logic that defines a conglomerate. A conglomerate that is just a financial entity that's held together or a variety of businesses held together will need to split apart or will need to divest some of the non-core businesses, which is a trend that we're seeing. So that, I believe, is the future of conglomerates.